Hello and welcome to this 12th Ask Your Hotel Techie video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider and I'm here to share our know-how about hotel technology with you in video format. We're back in the studio and I have the great pleasure of having Yannick with me here from our team to discuss booking engines and the hotel booking process from a technical perspective. Enjoy the interview. Introduce yourself, state your name and, and what it is you do. Hello, I'm Yannick. I'm the lead CRS and booking engine developer at Hotel Spider. What's a, what's a booking engine? A booking engine is an e-commerce tool for hotel websites to let them accept reservations that can range from a simple request form up to a full e-commerce integrated solution. Why do I need a booking engine as a hotel? If you look at your global distribution strategy, part of it will be the direct distribution. And uh, in that case, the customer journey will end with the booking engine as a tool for the visitors to become customers by actually making hotel reservations. And how do I select the right tool for my property? Based on your global strategy, you will define the functions that you need. Like if you are business-oriented hotels, you want to let visitors log in and you want to be able to offer corporate rates. Or if you are more spa-oriented, you want to be able to sell packages. Then you will pay attention to more general elements like the conversion, the ease of integration with the current tools you are using and the ease of integration on your website. As you said in a previous video, uh, you should adopt a more structured approach. Do not base all your choice on only your gut feelings. What are the specific steps you recommend to improve my direct reservations? You should look at the process as a whole, starting from the source of traffic, from where you will get your visitors. Then you will have to define how you want to present your hotel, what you want to show on your website, and then how you will integrate the booking process on your website, what experience you want to offer to the visitors. Once everything is in place, then you can start to measure and try to increase your conversion rate. You've mentioned a couple of times conversion rate. Can you explain to us what that is exactly? The conversion rate is simply the number of visitors you have on your website divided by the number of bookings you get. The number value itself is not so important as it will depend largely on why the visitors are coming to your website. But uh, you should strive to increase this value because the trend is more important in that case. Based on studies, we know that the typical average is between 2 and 3 percent, but that can range from 0 0.5 to 6 or even 8 percent in the best cases. And the conversion rate is also influenced by external factors like the source of your traffic, the, the country of origin of your visitors, and also the device they are using. What impacts this conversion rate on my website most? So first comes the friction. You should aim at a frictionless experience for your visitors. You should pay attention also to any lack of information, any lack of description in the system. Of course, you should make sure to have as much availability as possible on your own website. Then comes the price. Having a competitive pricing on your own website is the number one factor that will impact the conversion. But be aware also that uh, the conversion won't be the same for an iron room at the high price compared to a standard room offered at a basic price. And the last thing will be the quantity of information you require from your visitors. Uh, you should keep that as, mini as minimal as possible and maybe use tools like a pre stay email to gather more information at a later stage. What can we learn from the OTAs that are very good at pushing their customers through their funnel? We can mainly learn three things from them. The first thing is about the reinsurance on the price with message stating that you won't find any lower price elsewhere. The second thing is uh, to use social proof with messages like others are also looking at the same room or have booked not so long ago. You can increase that also with reviews or ratings. And the last thing is the urgency sentiment you can create by playing on the fear of missing out of your customers with messages like the only few rooms are available or the last room of a certain category have just been booked. How do I know that I don't have the right booking tool? 
take a step back and look at your direct distribution as a whole. You should measure each step of the process and strive to increase the, the conversion at each step. If at the end the booking tool is limiting your improvement, then you, you will try to find a new tool. You can look at hundreds of excellent systems out there on the market that are used by a lot of hotels. And in the end, if you still don't find the right tool for your need, you may think about developing a custom solution based on a CRS. What is a CRS? A CRS it, uh, is a central reservation system, but it's a whole topic on its own, so it's maybe better to discuss it in the next video. Okay, I'll, I'll take you up on that. That was my interview with Yannick. Thank you very much for your time and for sharing your unique perspective with us. I'm also going to take you up on that offer and we'll definitely continue our conversation about central reservation systems. Feel free to like, share and subscribe to Ask Your Hotel Techie. I really appreciate you watching. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider. Stay tuned for the next video.